What I'm going to try to do in the next half hour is talk about where you can go to find some of the sequence resources that are available for tomato. And given that we have a fairly diverse audience, I think that some of you are going to find a lot of what I have to say obvious. You're going to know about these resources. Um, but I'm hoping that even for those of you that are well familiar with what's out there, that you'll learn at least some new things in terms of where you can go to get some information. Um, for those of you that aren't as connected to <coughs> genome sequence, um, I, I think that we'll be opening your eyes to some resources that will be useful in your work. Um, another thing that I want to say is that as we, as we go through this workshop, we're going to try to have some examples that are sort of common themes in terms of applying sequence data to applied work. And, and really the main theme would be using sequence data to discover molecular markers that can then be used in breeding applications. Okay, and so what I really want you to be able to get out of this is a, a knowledge of where to go and how to get at some of the sequence data in different um, databases, how to retrieve that and even create specialized sets of data for your own work. Um, and then demonstrate the ability to make use of this for marker discovery. Now, if I was teaching a workshop like this at home, I'd have everybody on a computer doing this live. Instead, what I've done is put together some screenshots with the idea that you can go back to the book or the PowerPoint presentation and then follow this on your own. Okay. So, just to begin, um, this slide summarizes some of the resources that I'm going to cover. So the National Center for Biotechnology Information, or NCBI, is one of the premier databases for sequence data. Um, there are some other great resources like the Uniprot or Swiss Protein Database uh, and the European Molecular Biology Laboratory Nucleotide Sequence Databases. There are also a number of crop or family-specific databases. And so I'll be talking some about the resources available at the Solanaceae Genomics Network, or STN, uh, some that are available for the SOLCAP, through the SOLCAP project, and then uh, some that are available at the Gene Indexes site, uh, which is now housed at Harvard instead of at Tiger. <coughs> 